Hey there everyone, it's Grimestone again from the League of Average Gamers, and welcome to a game called War Thunder. This game is obviously, if you can't tell, about planes, from World War II to be precise. And it's essentially a simulation uh, where you take control of a plane from World War II, from one of the many factions of the war, and fly in combat scenarios. So you can choose between the Americans, the Germans, the Russians, the British, and the Japanese. And uh, other planes are incorporated in there. I know there are some Italian planes in the German tree, which is the only one I've really explored so far, only because I decided to play as Germany. I started, as you can see, as the Americans down here. I'm level two there, but uh, I was told to switch to the Germans for some reason. So I was like, okay, whatever. Uh, apparently the Americans don't have good planes yet, but it's an open beta, so I'm sure they have good planes, but uh, apparently the Germans are just easier to use and the Russians have the most overpowered games or er, planes, so <laughs> Whatever uh, I guess the best way to show you what the game is about is to hit to battle. So we will start the game now All right, you gotta wait of course to cube because you are playing with other players and as you can see, there are three game types. There are arcade battles, historical battles, and full real battles. Now, arcade battles, these are the kind of easygoing battles. They aren't too difficult, and uh, it's not as realistic, and they're just to have fun, you know? You fight other players, shoot them down, destroy, accomplish objectives, things like that. Uh, in historical battles, you take the role of a pilot during an actual mission from World War II. Now, you can start in the air or on the ground there. You will have to take off from runways in those sometimes, and in order to refuel and resupply, you must land. Unlike an arcade, when you spend your magazines and you spend your uh, bombs, they will automatically refill after a certain time period. And in full real battles, you have a much longer battle, and it is incredibly realistic. You have to deal with pitch and you have to deal with everything. When, you, when you're taken off, you're in the cockpit. Alright, so in this game mode right now, you, the, the idea, if you didn't, I kind of talked over that guy, you have to destroy all enemy ground targets before they destroy yours. And there are two classes, obviously, you have your fighters and your bombers. Bombers, of course, destroy ground targets. Your fighters take out your enemy and protect you. So, that's that. Of course, there are different kinds of planes. There are heavy fighters, light fighters, heavy bombers, light bombers. Uh, there are, like, gunships, which don't even have manual weapons. So, my plane is getting a little loud here. I, uh chose this plane because it's not only my favorite, I believe these kinds of planes during World War II were outfitted with sirens to scare the enemy, so that is what you're hearing right now, I believe, if my history is correct, and I'm hoping it is, because I do love history. So it says reduce speed, I never really listened to that in this game mode, because it doesn't really do much. However, when it comes to other game modes, you're going to have to worry about that. So in historical battles and full real battles, you're going to have to worry about that kind of thing. It will tear your plane apart. I'm going to have to go and turn sound down here. Uh, nobody will shoot me down. If they do, I've got some pretty handy turrets for that. Resume. Hey, I'm still alive. What do you know? Alright, let's turn throttle up. And find an enemy plane. Alright, that is much nicer. Ooh. Believe it or not, I learned about that siren thing from uh, Star Trek <laughs> Enterprise. Um, so you can, this game's fairly realistic in the damage control. If you hit the pilot's cockpit, the plane instantly goes down because you've killed the pilot. <laughs> when you hit the pilot, your plane crashes. And you see my turret man there, you can kind of catch a little glimpse of his face, he's kind of looking around. Yeah, if you kill him, he will stop shooting. So, there is some realism to the damage. If you shoot the flaps off, the plane will become less maneuverable. If you shoot the engines, the plane will crash. If you shoot the tails, it won't be able to control its turning as well and things like that. So, it's all fairly realistic in that regard. This is my most upgraded plane. It's my favorite plane. Uh, just because I love... Uh, I'm pretty good at bombing. Uh, even though I didn't show it very well there because they had destroyed all the ground targets except for one. And I didn't notice that when I dropped my bombs. I was busy commentating. wasn't paying attention, really. So, we're going to have to go in for some uh, bombing here. And see if I can't show you a little bit about 
for this game is combat. I want to find another player uh, to dogfight with. Now, you do have to be careful when you're dogfighting. You don't want to be outnumbered, ever. Because if you are, you will be destroyed by the three fighters that are tailing you while you tail just one. Alright, there's the target that comes up when I aim down, and drop the bomb, drop all the bombs because they're all right down there. I don't know if I hit any of them because the target went away. Oh, that was a dumb idea. You can see I took some damage there. That's from the shockwave. I don't think I hit any of them because, again, I screwed that up. I'm not showing myself very well in this game, am I? Alright, so we're going to go for the, this guy up here. I don't, I don't like the look of this SU-2 flaming tiger. Oop, am I being shot at? AAs. AAs I have nothing to worry about. I am a bomber, and I probably shouldn't be doing this, but I don't care. Because that's a bomber too, I believe. I believe. I could be wrong. I don't know my planes yet. I'm sure I will learn. Ow. Stupid AAs. Go away. Nobody likes you. I see I'm doing awful this round. But I can't catch up to him. Yeah, dang it. I wanted to show you some dogfighting. Well, I'll wait for a fighter then. No way I'm catching up that guy. Alright, I'm taking this fella out now. If I can hit him. Let's see here. Come on. Pillbox. Nope. She used all of it. That's depressing. Why am I bad at this? Oh, hello. That, I believe, was indeed a fighter. Which I don't want to engage. Did I just say they took the initiative? Does that mean we're losing? Yes. Uh, no, we've taken the initiative. That's what they said. Do I want to go for him? I'm going to go for him. He's a big target. Oh, never mind. I'm not going for him. I'm not going for him. I'm going for this guy because I'm being shot at. All right. When that target grows red, I need to drop all my bombs. One a little red there. I'm going to pull up. Surface unit destroyed. Yeah, that was a big ship, so that gave me a lot of points. 830. I like that. I'm liking this. All right. See, I'm doing a little better now. I'm doing a little better. See, I'm climbing the ranks. I'm moving on up. Ow. Stupid AAs. Generally, AAs aren't a problem. But in this situation, they are. Oh, God. He's going to come after me. I'm not sure if I want to keep my plane straight when he attacks me. Oh, that's a medium tank. I'm not sure I'll be able to take him out with my... Bullets, maybe? Alright, I don't know. I'm gonna fly to my turret, or to my allied fighters here, see if they can. I don't even know if that's a fighter. A Nimrod. Oof. I need to learn my plane names. Because I have a feeling I'm being tailed. Even though I can't see it. Maybe not. Maybe I did some damage to him? I don't know. I didn't say I hit him. I'm gonna spin around here. No, he just didn't come after me. I got lucky then. So, I'm going to go in for another one of those boats. Let's see. Oh, there he is. Hello, my pretty. I've got five bombs with your name on them. One 250 kilogram bomb and four, I believe, 100 kilograms. Not sure. We'll find out, won't we? Uh, let's see. Oh, he's shooting at me, isn't he? No, he's not. He's shooting at someone else, which I'm okay with. I am mad about it. I am mad about it. A little more effort. How much more effort do you want? Oh, oh. Reload, reload. No, no. Go away. I don't want your stupid ass. Then pull up, pull up, pull up. Die and destroy him. I missed with my 250 kilogram. That's what must have happened. Oh, I did get a few good hits off on him, so I'll just pass around. Oh, wait, I've still got a bomb. Oh, we're going to come back around again. We're going to die bomb this sucker. Hey there, pal. You mind if I drop a bomb on you? Gotcha. So it does take all five. That's what you get. Oh, I'm being shot at. Now, that was an enemy fighter. Uh, I could tell. The, they have tracers. Regulars don't have tracers. Let's see if I can hit him from here. Come on, turret. I have a feeling I'm about to get shot down. I can, yeah, my plane is taking some heavy damage. You can see it, so. Worst happens. You do this. You see this cargo ship? You see this cargo ship? You see this cargo ship? It's not there anymore. <laughs> bye bye, Mr. F2A1. 
Uh, he's a buffalo. Uh, those are okay planes. I mean, they're pretty low level. I'm surprised he's still flying that, but if you're good enough, I was going to go down. I couldn't turn at all. But uh, I think I'll show you a heavy fighter. Now, I don't want to do that. Now, this has four machine guns and two cannons. Now, the cannons are definitely against Air Force. Those things are like flat cannons, right? And then the machine guns, of course, machine guns. Uh, I haven't unlocked anything special with this plane yet, because I just got it. It's rank 4, and I'm rank 4 in the German Air Force. And that's how you unlock planes, is you rank up, and then you purchase them from the research screen. Um, I don't want to use my bombs on this plane, only because it slows me down. And this plane is a very slow plane. It's very hard to fly. Uh, in terms of its maneuverability, it doesn't... It's not as maneuverable, of course, that's what comes with being such a big plane. Now, if you take out one of my engines, I'm going down, regardless of the fact. Uh, so in this game, what you want to do is you want you don't want to really aim for the body so much unless you have incendiary rounds, in which case you can just set it on fire. Uh, you want to aim for, like, the wings and stuff, and that makes them less maneuverable, and they'll, like, crash more than likely. Especially on my plane, if you take out one of the wings and the engine goes down, I'm dead. I'm done. So I want to find a place where my allies are. There's a few of my allies, and there's an enemy. And I'm going to take that... Oh, 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 what do we have here? What do we have here? Is this a... Is this a Catalina? I don't know, I can't sit now. Yeah, it's a Catalina. Right, I'm going to let that other guy kind of come up, because I don't want to hit him. That would be bad for all of us. Alright, now I can fire. He's only 50 kilometers away. I should be able to hit him with this. Should get an assist. Hit his wing pretty hard. Catalinas, though, they is, those planes take a beating, an absolute beating. I might have hit. No, I didn't hit anyone. Alright, good. Because it said something about a Spitfire. I don't know. I'll see a Spitfire. As you can see, my machine guns are reloading, and this guy's turning. Ah, oh, man, fuck that machine guns. Yeah. Ah. Oh. Hitting his wing. Is he going down? I can't tell. Oh my god. That dude's an idiot. He's hitting with my axe. Wing. I'm this wing pretty good. What is this stupid biplane doing? That dude really wants to get hit by my bullets, don't I? Oh dear, oh dear, oh! I'm gonna see if my turret can hit him. Go for it. No? No? Ah, just a kill assist. It's like somebody else got him. I did get quite a few hits off on him though, see I'm climbing in the ranks now, I did get a quite a few hits off on that fella. Man, you see those planes, but people are like going for kills, like it's the only thing to do in this game, it's crazy. That biplane, I, w I wouldn't have been mad if I had taken that guy out with my own bullets, I mean I would have lost points, but that's what he gets. If he gets mad at me, that's his own fault, alright we're about to win, you can see down there. I didn't do spectacular this time around, that's just because I wasn't very good with my bomber. wasn't paying attention, I should have. Oh, is this a lag? I'm going to take this fella out. Do you think you can come at me? That's what I thought. Oh. Apparently he can come after me. But, I did get him in that last few seconds, and we won, by the way. Uh, I took him out, though. That's the important part, and I got points for that. I got a lot of points for that. I think I got a final hit, I got a battle trophy for taking him out. This is my first win of the day because I am recording this at night. So it is indeed tomorrow <laughs> now. So, ah yes, that boosted me up to rank 7. You see how much I climbed there? Kills can do a lot, but it's not the only thing to do. So let me show you, let's see, I got a new decal, Jolly Bomber. <laughs> I might put that on my plane there, part of my Moonshine Raiders series. I do have a series of bombers that I've labeled the Moonshine Raiders. Uh, battle trophy? Not bad. I like battle trophies. They're nice. All in all, I didn't do too bad. Now, what do you do with all this stuff? Obviously, you go and spend it. So, what do you spend it on? Planes and upgrades. Creeper. Oh, my God. Oh, my gosh. I really should sleep in a bed. This is getting... But now, I don't have a mask.
So yeah. I just still got 